Now, continuing on, the eighth round of my draft saw me take another running back, Terrence West, the rookie running back of the Cleveland Browns, passing on, on the other rookie, Jeremy Hill, and the wide receiver, Mike Evans. Now, again, looking at my roster, only three running backs, haven't taken a tight end, haven't taken a quarterback, and I'm going for my fifth running back. Again, you are not going to get better options in running back than you are right now, in my opinion. And I look at Terrence West, who is going, again, to have the opportunity to not only split carries with Ben Tate, but to take the majority of the workload from him if he has a big first half playing in the backfield with Johnny Manziel, Johnny Football. And again, they are so weak at the wide receiver position themselves, with Andrew Hawkins expected to be the number one wide receiver, that Terrence West is probably going to be heavily involved in the passing game. So I took him with the eighth overall pick, and the ninth pick for my team coming at 122 overall in the fantasy draft. That's when I went quarterback with Ben Roethlisberger. Now, when we did our top 15 quarterbacks, we didn't even talk about him because I had him ranked in my top 20. That is how deep the quarterback position is because you still have guys like Eli Manning and Joe Flacco who were also available there. These are not great names. These are not spectacular names. But these are guys who are going to be solid week in and week out contributors for your team. And you can take them as late as pick 122. Continuing round 10 is when I finally took tight end in Kyle Rudolph, who I expect to have a big year with Norv Turner becoming his offensive coordinator this season. And he did have nine touchdowns as recently as 2012. So, Again, Teddy Bridgewater being my pick to be the every week Minnesota quarterback at some point this season, I look for him to target Rudolph heavily. Summarizing the last four rounds of the draft, at number 11, I took my backup quarterback. I took the reach, Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel, with pick 150. Another quality reach in my eyes, simply because I look at him as someone who if he doesn't do well, I only need him one week of the season. But in a backup, I want to take someone who has the potential to exceed expectations. Roethlisberger is a solid contributor, but at this point in his career, you know what he is. He's not going to do more or less than what you expect him to. Manziel is a guy who I took at pick 150 coming into a backup role. If he winds up exceeding that, he could wind up being a spot starter on weeks that I don't like Roethlisberger's matchup. And if he winds up exceeding that, hey, it's a solid risk at pick 150. Number 12, I finally took another wide receiver in Brandon Cooks, who again, I talked about on the sleeper list. I look at him as another Tavon Austin, Cordell Patterson, Percy Harvin type wide receiver. And at pick 159, another solid risk. Jason Morrow I took as my backup tight end with pick 178 in the 13th round. And ending the skill position portion of the uh, fantasy football draft, I took Jordan Matthews with pick 187. Now, in a one-year league, it's generally not a good idea to go as rookie-heavy as I did. But again, it's all about the opportunity here. I look at Jordan Matthews, like I said, in the sleeper portion as someone who could become a number one type wide receiver, Jason Morrow has limited competition in the Jets' tight end equation. Brandon Cooks is going to be one of the top three New Orleans receivers, which is going to be good enough for something in a Drew Brees-led offense. I've said enough about Johnny Football that I'm going to move on on that. We talked about the opportunity that I believe Terrence West and Bishop Sankey will have. So again, if you go running back early, there is enough depth in my eyes, to take quality options at wide receiver, quarterback, and tight end later in the draft. We went running back with four of my first six picks and still ended up with three guys I consider to be top 30 options at the receiver position in Keenan Allen, Cordell Patterson, and Brandon Cook. So as much as I did not do a top 30 wide receivers, I did have Cooks in my top 30. And you take a guy who is going to be a top 10 tight end and two guys who have the potential to be top 20 quarterbacks. That's a solid roster, at least on paper, as you are going to find in a 14-team league. It takes luck, it takes durability, and it takes solid week-in and week-out consistency 
to turn this on paper team into a championship contender. And that is what we will see happen. We're going to follow this team during my sit em start em segments as we go forward in the season. So thanks everyone for watching. Thanks to all the subscribers of Mike Eggs 121. Please subscribe to the video if you haven't done so already. Check out the website, thisisportszone.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at We Are Sports Zone, and send us any questions and comments you may have. Thanks everyone for watching. Once again, I am Mike Agliolaro for This Is Sports Zone, and we will see you next time, folks.